it me and we're back with some more indie horror so i'm a huge fan of markiplier he's the reason why one of the reasons i started playing more indie horror games because i love watching his indie horror series and there's a, a series that he has called three scary games which i absolutely love i love the format i love the fact that he can mash all these short games together into one good video so i wanted to give that same thing a try today so i found three scary games that i'll include all the links to them down below in the description i got them off of itch.io before we get started though if you like the content and want to help out the channel please hit that subscribe button all right friends let's check out three scary indie horror games all right so the first one we're gonna try out is called the other side it's by apish box games i don't know really much about it other than that it's a short indie horror game so let's try this out that sound was pleasing to my ears Ooh. This looks old school. Interaction and cancel interaction. I'm so hungry. Let, let's see what I have in the kitchen. Can I look around for it? Oh my. An avid reader, I see. I see a pizza on the floor. What does this say? To-do list. Get the keys, pick up trash, go outside, get some food. Simple. Simple life. hands on the floor a very messy house oh here's some wicked pizza wicked with was this always open i even know this is here you okay you got a lot of bottles trash Dirt, rust, mold. All right. I have anything. I'm interacting. I'm interacting. I'm interacting. Can I get some food? Can I? Get some food. Can I? <laughs> Hello? I see you right there, pizza. Where are the keys? Where are the keys? Where are the keys? Give me the key! I'm sorry, that escalated very quickly. There's the key. All right, so I picked up the key. I'm gonna pick up the trash. Oh, oh, look at that, look at that. Oh, look at me tidying up the place, how nice. It was a huge mess. I'm really glad you're uh, taking initiative, picking up after, so what is that smear there? Picking up all the trash. The soap's not trash. I got I got trash now. All right. Now where do I put it? Did I take it out? Do I take it outside? Go outside and then get some food? Okay. I guess I'm just taking it out then. I'm going to go take it out to the dump. Sounds like a, the logical next step. You guys park in a overgrown parking spot. Yeah. I should get to my car and drive to some burger joint. Which one's our car? Wrong car. Wrong car. Hello? Oh, look at that. Crap, it won't start. Maybe my neighbor Matt can help. I should go back. Then who's this guy? Is it Matt? I take it you're not Matt. Hi, buddy. Oh, you are creepy. You are creepy. Goodbye. 
Who is that mask? Okay. Matt should be home. Maybe look around, knock on some doors. What? What? Missing. Missing. Hey, Matt. Frick, a stranger's in the building. What? Take the gun and shoot? Who's knocking on my door? Huh? Please tell me you look through the people first. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, what? So that was other side by Sam Ferguson. <laughs> oh, that was creepy. That was cool. All right. First one's a good one. All right. I finally got some time off work. Time to go for a nice walk. So this one is called Night Walk. Also on itch.io. This one is by Soft Bushwear. So let's check this out. There's no title screen. So we'll see what we get ourselves into. It was a, a browser game, but they recommended downloading it. Hello? Such a beautiful rainy day, night. A beautiful rainy night to go out walking. Also foggy, I should have added foggy. A beautiful, dark, very dark, rainy, foggy night to go out for a walk because that's normal behavior. Oh good. Oh good. <laughs> Looks like someone was taking their bloody knife out for a night stroll as well. I need to get out of here. This baby. So we left their baby on my night walk. That's cool. Okay, great, thank you. I was expecting a child, which is already pretty scary. Ending three and three, death, the void awaits you. Okay. All right, let's see what other endings we can get then. Not sure. I'm just uh, shocked I would go out walking in the middle of the night, you know? I get it. Some nights are so nice. You never know nowadays. You can't just go out walking in the middle of the night and expect to be completely safe every single time, you know? But I'm also an avid uh, true crime listener reader. Okay. Bloody knife. I don't want to keep going. I'm leaving. Leave the baby. Goodbye. Good luck, baby. Good luck, baby. I'm good. I'm good. See y'all later. Nope. Creepy music. Be darned. I'm leaving. I'm I'm just heading out. Nope. It is very dark over here. That's cool. Ending two of three. If this crap on out, you left the baby to die. Well, baby, what's gonna kill me anyway? Cause baby was actually a man in suit. Can I pick up the knife? I tried to, but it wouldn't let me. Let's see if we get a different ending this time. This time around. Is that blood? What happened here? That's what it said before. I need to get out of here. Or.
I just sit on a bench. I just walk into the woods. What can I do? You know what? I'm gonna test something. I'm gonna test something. So it's gonna do the jump scare. I'm gonna test something. It's so loud. All right, we're gonna test something. We got three and three twice, two or three. What if we just don't do the walk? What if we just, I thought you got some time off work. I'm gonna go for a nice walk. You know what? How about I just go home? I'm not even gonna bother. Not even gonna bother. Will it work? One or three, let's go. I'm too tired. <laughs> you felt too tired to go for a walk. Let's go. Big brain. All right, and that was night walk. I am honestly really enjoying playing these uh, bite-sized horror games. They're really cool. I also I absolutely love the graphics they use for him. It makes me uh, feel like a kid again, you know? <laughs> All right, on to the next one. All right, so our final indie horror game we're gonna play is called Little Jimmy's Gift. It's by Solitary Studios, a short horror game about Little Jimmy and his gift. All right, let's do this. It's 1.30 a.m. and little Jimmy has been awakened. He can't sleep due to the excitement of using his new camera his parents gave him. Oh, are we taking ghost photos? I'm already guessing it. Jimmy? Is this what it looks like while he's sleeping? Okay. Although his, his eyes were open the whole time. Okay, okay. Eat a turn off. Huh. James Bond. Bring me back. Eat a pickup camera. Brings me back. All right, what are we taking a picture of? Oh my. To capture images? Oh, it's so bright. Why is that so bright? Jimmy? Can I leave the room? Hey, little Jimmy, up here in the closet. What? Hello, I'm Maria, your guardian angel. I'm here to protect you. I... But you don't look like an angel. I don't even see you. Like, where are you? Where's the closet? Do you think so? I'm just here to play with you. Follow me, little Jimmy. I want to show you something. I want to trust them. I actually got goosebumps. I want to trust them. Okay, where do we go? Just follow me outside, little Jimmy. Oh, now I see them. We really shouldn't be going outside, little Jimmy. Little Jimmy tiptoed into his parents' room, grabbed the flashlight, and headed outside. He wandered into the nearby woods, discovering himself surrounded by nature's embrace. I mean, nature's embrace would be great if there wasn't a spooky ghost lady in your on top of your closet trying to coax you outside. Oh no. Little Jimmy, you are insane. Little Jimmy, what are we doing out here? Little Jimmy's gonna get eaten by a bear or worse. Which way do we go? Maybe under that cave there? 
Hey, guardian angel who promised me safety. I guess they didn't promise anything, but... Guardian angel, are you here? I guess we'll just take a nice little stroll through the woods in the middle of the night because it, a random voice told us to. I kind of wish... Maria, where are you? I'm scared. As you should be, Jimmy. Oh my. Was that Maria up there? I don't think she comes up on camera though because she's a ghost. Maria? You, you up there, Maria? Huh? Little Jimmy, should we climb this cliff? What's all this then? Oh my, what's that? Oh no. E to enter? It's a random cellar! Little Jimmy then entered an old underground basement in the woods looking for Maria. What is this doing out here? Hello? Oh, God. Uh, it's like John Wayne Gacy's basement or something. Like, this is a terrible idea. Oh, you know people get buried in there. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Little Jimmy, what have we done? Little Jimmy. Oh, no. Oh, no. You know that hole is freshly dug for people. They're going to put people in there. Okay, I guess we just continue on then, little Jimmy. Maria? I should have never listened to you! This is horrifying. Almost seems like the flashlight's starting to go out too. It's so dark. At least we'll have a ton of photo evidence unless he forgot to put a memory card in or film. Actually, judging by the gaming console, I should have said film. Hello? Maria? Am I in a drug den, Maria? Maria, am I about to have something awful happen to me? I'm just a little boy named Little Jimmy. Oh, this is horrifying. Okay. Guess we're gonna check with- <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. Little Jimmy. Little Jimmy's gift. Weeks later, the authorities discovered the basement and found the body of a child with the stomach cut open and missing some organs. Huh? So I was organ trafficked? They took my organs? To sell it on the black market? Stay safe, kids. Don't let curiosity lead you astray. Never go anywhere with someone you don't know. Wonderful life lesson that everyone, everyone, no matter your age, should listen to. Absolutely wonderful. <laughs> All right, and that was... Inspired by the kid in the camera? All right, and that was little Jimmy's gift. We got through three indie horror games and they were all very cool. I've really enjoyed playing these. I hope you like this series. I personally really like Markiplier's when he does them. So I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a try. I, I thought it was really cool. I was getting tired of making those tiny, tiny, tiny videos of like the really short games, but I keep, I want to keep playing the short games. So this is a good way to do it so we can still mash them all into one video and still have it a nice length so it's not like some really short five minute video on a one of my day slots you know you know I'm, what i mean when you're uploading daily i don't want to give you five minute videos okay all right friends if you like the content uh and want to help out the 
Friends, if you like the content, want to help out the channel, please hit that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment. All of those help. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.